All right, ladies and gents, good morning, and uh, here we go. We're switching gears a little bit. We're getting away from AutoCAD, and we're going to do a couple tutorials on Adobe Illustrator. Uh, in class here, we do have Adobe Illustrator 2019, and uh, hopefully in the future we'll do some Photoshop stuff, and, and we'll go from there. All right, but for now, Adobe Illustrator, uh, I want to show you a couple things. All right, so when you first open up Adobe Illustrator, you're going to hit Create New. I like to go to Art and Illustration and I like to make my custom paper size. So points would be pixels. I like to change that to inches. I like to make my width the size of a normal piece of paper, which is 8.25, height 11. You could change the orientation at this point and make it um, landscape or portrait. That's up to you. This one is going to be portrait based on the numbers that I put in in that order. Um, I also like to go to advanced options and change the raster effects to be 300 PPI, which is gonna make it very high quality. PPI stands for pixels per inch. So the more pixels per inch you have, kind of like your uh, like your cell phone, it's going to be a lot clearer, and you're going to be able to zoom in a lot further and see a lot more detail. All right. So at that point, you can hit create. Adobe Illustrator um, it makes a generic file name called Untitled One or something like that. So I like to just go in and do a save as, and change that file name to something that I know you know what it is basically. So this first one is gonna be called Colorful Text and we're just gonna work with the text tool. Um, but before we get to that, what we're gonna do is talk about, uh, and by the way, you just hit okay on that menu there. Um, we're gonna talk about some of the layout and where all the tools are and what they do, okay? So, you know, across the top, you'll see a couple menus and you know, the important ones right now are probably object, which is anytime you have an object on the screen, you can do different things to that object. Um, the type has to do with the, uh, you know, uh, your font and your size and all that different stuff and what you can do with different text, um, you know, select for selecting things. Effects are effects that you can put on your different shapes that you're making. Um, for instance, you can go to, you know, to stretch, to stretch things out. You can warp different, uh, different objects that you have, which looks pretty cool. Um, you can make things 3D by doing extrude and bevel or revolve, even rotate, okay? Um, looking at the top bar here, this is going to be your colors. So this one here is going to be your stroke color, uh, which is basically, let's draw a shape here. We got a rectangle. I'm just going to click and draw a shape. And then I'm going to go back to my selection tool. With my selection tool, I can click and move this around. Um, I can stretch this out. I can go a little bit further out and rotate that shape. Okay. Um, let's do control Z to undo that move. And then you'll see that when I have that selected with the selection tool, I can change the color of the fill by going here. And I can change the color of the stroke by going here. The stroke is the outline of it. You can also change the thickness of the stroke. So if you go down to, you know, 6.7 points, you'll see a very thick border around the outside. With that selected, I could use the erase tool to erase through that shape. You'll notice that it fills itself in with those outline colors, okay? I could even go to the selection tool again and double click on each piece and move those pieces out now. So if you're trying to make something abstract, maybe that's a good spot to start. Okay. Um, so now here's a couple things. When you're, when you're scrolling up and down on the mouse, that's just going to move your paper up and down. When you're holding control and scrolling up and down, that's going to move your paper left to right. When you hold the alt key and zoom in and out uh, move up and down on the mouse that's going to be your zoom in and out okay wherever your cursor is is what it's going to zoom into so some people have trouble with that if i want to zoom in down here i put my cursor down here and it'll zoom into that area okay um so some other things that we can talk about if you draw if you're on the selection tool by the way if you see that it has a little uh letter in parentheses that means that rather than clicking on that tool you could just uh hit the v key and that'll bring you into that tool as well. Or for text, it would be T, and that would bring you into the type tool, okay? Um, so what I can do is I can click here and hold my mouse, click down, and draw a little box around this. That'll select everything. And at any point, you can just hit delete on the keyboard, and that will delete those things. Like I said before, control Z will undo that move and bring those things back. Or you can go up to edit and hit redo, which would be also shift control Z to redo whatever, um, you know, what, what you've done, if you made a mistake or you went back too many steps or whatever, okay? Um, with color, okay, so here, let's draw another box here. We're on the rectangle tool. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold shift, you know, I'm gonna click first, 
So if I just click like that, it's going to ask me what size do I want. If I wanted to do 5 by 2 or something like that, I can hit OK and it'll make a 5 by 2. So if you're trying to make something an accurate size, you can just do a single click. Um, if I click and hold and I draw out like this, I can make the box whatever size and proportion I want. If I hold down shift while I'm doing this, it'll give me a perfect square. Or if I go to rotate this shape, you'll see that I can rotate it any degree I want. But if I hold shift, it'll get locked at the 45 degree angle mark. So I could rotate it exactly 45 degrees. Um, anytime you see a triangle at the bottom of these tools, if you long press on it, you'll see other options behind it. So star tool, polygon, ellipse. Um, let's see, the pen tool. Well, here, let's talk about something else real quick. So as I'm moving this, okay, I can still change the colors here. I can, you know, I can always go back and change those things. I can also hold shift and click on this arrow and that's gonna give me my RGB so I can change the values. If you know exactly what value you want for your red, for your green, for your blue, you can type those numbers in. You could also do the codes that you see uh, for, I believe this is for HTML that you can type in to get the exact color you want, or you could use the picker to get whatever color you want in here, okay? Um, let's pretend that I want this shape here and then I make a new shape again let's say I do an ellipse I can make it any shape I want but if I hold shift it'll make it a perfect circle and let's just pretend that this had a different fill on it but I wanted to get the same fill that this one had what I do is I have this one selected I go to the eyedrop tool and I click on this color here and it will match that color on anything that I have so even if I had a picture or an image in here I could you know pick with the eyedrop whatever color that is just like I just clicked and got white, okay? Um, and it'll match the properties of it. So let's delete that stuff. All right, what else do we wanna talk about? Um, you got a gradient tool that you can mess with. You have the erase tool, like I said. Uh, this software uses something called a layer system, which if you, you should be familiar with that, but if you're not, I'll explain that right now. Every new thing that I create is going to create a new layer. And you'll see that every new thing that you make will go on top of the last thing that you created, right? So down here, if I drop down this little arrow here, you'll notice that I have all of those different shapes that I just made. I can turn those shapes off by hitting the eyeball. And it's just a temporary off that you can always turn on later. It's not deleting it. Um, I could change the order of it. If I grab this ellipse and I move it up, I can move it to the front of everything. I can also just go in here and delete certain layers. So you can hit the trash bin here and that'll erase that entire layer. If, I'm, if I don't have anything selected and I go on the erase tool, I can erase through everything. But if I have something specific selected, I can only erase out of just that shape and I can't erase out of the other ones. Okay, so that's, that's uh, important to know. All right, so let's erase this stuff. Oh, and also here, let's do a control Z real quick. Um, the other thing you can do is you can click on these and you could right click on it and go to arrange and go to send to back and that would send it behind everything. Or you could right click arrange and bring to front and that'll bring it in front of everything. Okay. Um, let's see, what else do we want to talk about? You have a brush. Okay. So it's very popular in illustrator to draw things, right? Uh, freehand. So you have different brush heads in here that you can change to make it look with a different stroke. All right. There's only so many preloaded in here. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the library down here and you're gonna to wanna to go to whatever it is that you're looking for. Do you wanna paint arrows? You know, arrow special. You can choose any one you want and it'll paint arrows in the direction that you actually draw. Um, and we can close that. You can go to artistic and go to artistic paintbrush. And in here you'll see a bunch of different paintbrush tops that'll give you different looks which you can change your stroke on and your color on to make thinner and thicker, okay? Um, so let's select all of that stuff and let's get rid of that. All right, I wanna open up a file here. I think that's all we wanna talk about for now. Take notice of how many different folders I have, it's insane. Let's see, courses, intro, uh, Adobe Illustrator, colorful text. Okay, this is the one we're gonna make. My students, this is the first one for Adobe Illustrator. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create what's called colorful text, okay? 
and with colorful text you're basically just drawing text and I'm showing you how to manipulate that text by changing the colors of each letter by moving them by sizing them and so on okay now if you want and you don't want to listen to me you could pause this video and read all of this but I think it's easier when I show it visually so here we go you're gonna find the text tool uh, there's two different text types if I click and hold and I draw this out that becomes a text box which I can type whatever I want in there but when I click off of it and then I click back on, I can't change the size of that text by going like this. It's more like, uh, it's like the opposite of Word are in Microsoft Word. Okay, it's just a regular text box. So I'm gonna delete that. What I wanna do is I wanna grab the text tool and click anywhere in there and type my text. I'm gonna use caps lock to do it. Um, I'm also going to, you know, hit my selection tool, click back on it and go to, let's see, right up here. If you don't see this here, you have to hit character. Okay, you can see it in here as well, but if you see it up at the top, by the way, I'm in painting up here. So if you don't see all these things that I see, change your layout to be painting. Um, I should have said that earlier. I'm sorry about that. But we're going to change this font to Comic Sans. And it's just a random font. And then we're going to change the size to be 60. All right, and then I'm going to move that back into the screen. All right now with this selected, yeah, you could put colors on it and stuff like that. But you can't change each individual color yet or each individual letter unless you have it selected and you go to object and you go to where is it All right. oh you know what why don't i go back to my thing um selection tool once selected find the type menu yeah it should be under the type menu so select type where is create outlines am i just missing it oh create outline i'm sorry guys Woo. Okay, create outlines. Um, so now if I click off and I click back on, I can double click a letter and that will break these letters apart. And now after that first double click, I can just single click these and I can change the size of them. I could rotate them. Um, I could change the color of each one by just changing the color up here. I could also put a stroke on there. So let's say I wanted to have my dark blue as the outline and the other blue as the fill color, right? So what I would like you to do is I'd like you guys to match the way that I have it right here. So if you need to, pause this video and see if you can get it exactly like mine. Okay, and that's for my students. For everyone else, you can just mess around with it and, uh, and you know, do whatever you want with it. Okay, um, so we've got that. We can change different colors, like I said. And we'll do a couple of them. All you're doing is single clicking and, you know, changing and changing the color. Uh, we got enough blues orange okay so we'll leave it like that and then the next thing would be I ask my students to um, to create two different things okay I want them to make my big to small I want them to make this waterfall one which they have to find this stroke for the paintbrush and then they're gonna create this is just like a little play on words obviously and then I ask them to make um, two of their own anything that they want it could say anything okay so that's pretty much it for the text tool. Um, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Nice and short video, and it's a nice little introduction to Adobe Illustrator. And as we go forward, we'll be working with more tools and, and uh, learn, you know, using things that we've already learned and then adding those new things to it in order to make more advanced objects and more advanced shapes. Okay, so I appreciate you guys listening. This is video one for Adobe Illustrator. Sorry about that dead air in the middle. I don't know what I was thinking, but I couldn't find my create outlines menu um, or option. And that's pretty much it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again.